Hello friends, I am Amit Kumar from Smash the Shell and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can equally distribute your images inside a fluid container and there will be a equal amount of space between these images as you can see that in this final project. So this is what we are going to create in this video tutorial and this is very simple to create. So let's jump into our text editor and start building this so here I am in my text editor and you can see that I have this simple HTML5 template as usual and you can also see that I have this header and footer and I have already applied styles for this header and footer inside my main.css file as you can see that here and I have also written some basic reset styles here to reset the margin and paddings of some common elements now let's jump into our html file here and i'm going to introduce my six images here inside this img folder which are thumb one thumb two as you can see that here okay here i'm gonna insert all these images inside an another list so first of all i'm gonna write main inside this main element i'm gonna create a section element inside this section element i'm gonna create ul element which is a nodal list and i wanna create six list items and each list items i want img element and each img element has a source of img which is this img folder and inside this img folder we have thumb one image but i I'm not going to write one instead I gonna write dollar which means it will automatically change to one two three four and so on when the loop started and give it an extension of JPEG and let's give it an alternative text of image dollar again it will be replaced by one two three and so on okay and this will work because I am using an extension called emit it helps us to produce HTML code faster as you can see that here when I expand this now you can see that I have created main inside this section and this section contains UL element and further it contains six list items with all the images and also their alternative text so this is a fast way to create this type of structure using emit so now let's see its preview in our browser uh, here you go so now you can see that I have included all these images now let's jump into our CSS file which is this one here and now start writing the styles for our images so first of all I gonna remove this bullets here so and default margin and paddings too so i will write ul then li then img and set its margin to zero and padding will also be zero and select the parent ul element by writing section ul and let's set its width to 60% and margin to zero auto means zero from top and bottom auto from left and right this will center our ul element inside this section element and now let's target our li elements by writing section ul li and we want to remove the bullets from all these list list items so i'll write list style type to none now let's set its display property to inline block so that all the list element will be displayed in a row you can see that here okay but these are not equally distributed let me show you when i target this ul and write outline one pixel solid let's give it a red and you can see that there is a red outline to this ul container and you can see that there is some space left so we want to distribute these images 
inside this container equally so how you can do that well let's go ahead and set its text align property to justify and this will work but it will only distribute the top row as you can see that here there is equal amount of space however we need some way to fix this too so this is happening because of text justification property we need a last line there is not a last line in our row so to create a fake last line we can use the after pseudo selector so so that we can distribute these images equally so let me show what i am talking about let's go ahead and target our section and create an after pseudo selector and here create a content which is empty content this will work as our last line and set its width to 100 percent and set its display property to inline block because text align justify has been already applied to this parent element so this will also apply to this pseudo selector element after pseudo selector content element here so that it will justify all our images now we want some spaces on top and bottom of each images so how you can do that let's jump back into a text editor and here write a property called margin and set its margin to 1.6 ram and 0 from left and right and 1.6 ram from top and bottom now you can see that you have spaces on both top and bottom and left and right too let's remove this outline here so friends now you have seen that how easily we have created this fluid container which contains the images which are equally distributed and they have equal amount of space horizontally okay and when we resize the browser's viewport you can also see that they are changing their layout based on the viewport size so guys if you like this video tutorial please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and share it with your friends i'll be looking for your feedback and your feedbacks will be greatly appreciated i will be happy if you share it with your friends and i'll create some more useful stuff for you guys thank you for watching this video tutorial have a nice day bye bye